hey babe welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome i'm sasha do thumbs up this video and subscribe if you are new this is my last relaxer of 2021 the relaxer i use is the cream of nature relaxing kit in regular strength that is what i have been using for a long time and i feel like that is the relaxer that works best with my hair texture um, I also self-relax and that too is a process that I have been doing for many, many years. Um, to be honest, it's not a perfect system because there are areas that I won't be able to see well even when I'm using two mirrors and even less so today that I am filming. So that is an added complication that makes it difficult to relax. But that is a compromise that I gladly make because I want to show you guys what I would typically do. Um, this is a learning process for some of you and so I'm happy to be able to share that with you. I feel like I take better care of my hair on my own than what I've experienced in the past uh, sitting in someone else's chair. Now I still go to the salon but only for specialized services so if I need a very good trim or a cut then I would definitely go to the stylist for that because that is not my area of expertise. So I am not knocking the seller at all. I just feel like um, it's difficult to find somebody who knows what they're doing and who is also receptive to feedback because I feel like I know what is best for my hair. So that for me has been a challenge. So my advice would be to find somebody who knows what they're doing, somebody who is open to um your feedback your commentary somebody who's willing to answer your questions as well yeah so in the meantime i have found techniques to help me to minimize damage there is no escaping damage during the relaxing process you are literally applying a chemical to your hair there will be damage however there are things that you can do to minimize the amount of damage that you cause to your hair during the relaxing process. For me, that process starts even before relaxer day. Relaxing my hair is not something that I randomly wake up and decide to do. So I take advantage of the weeks leading up to my relaxer to do my strengthening treatments. That is not something that I compromise on. Also, I do not wash my hair or manipulate my hair at least three days prior to relaxing that way i do not irritate my scalp in any way at all and that helps to minimize burns and um, irritation during the relaxing process on that same note i avoid doing any exercise or putting myself in a position where i will sweat more than the usual amount on my scalp i naturally sweat on my scalp but then to avoid any irritation during my relaxing i do not exercise or do anything strenuous that will cause me to, to sweat. Yeah, so these are a couple of the things that I do prior to relaxing. However, on relaxer day today, one of the main things is to base your scalp and your hairline. So um, yeah, that is something that I do not advise you to skip at all. In fact, to me, it's better to OD on this step than to avoid it. If any of the relaxing cream were to get into contact with your skin, you are likely to get a really bad burn. Now this is a layer of protection against that. So always use your protective layers, always um, base your scalp and your hairline. Now I usually have my hair already parted and ready. However, because my hair was in bantu twists, I did not want to overly manipulate my hair, nor to disturb my scalp, so I decided to just leave my hair as it was. However, today I am going to go through the extra step of separating my hair into smaller sections and twisting it away. And um, you'll notice that when I start to relax that that saves me so much time. So that too is one of the extra little things that I do it is um, a bit of work, but to me it is worth it because it saves a lot of time during the relaxing process. 
One of the key things for me is to ensure that I do not allow my relaxer to sit on my hair for more than 20 minutes from the beginning until the end. So yeah, I'm mind very mindful of that. So this extra little thing, this extra little step does help to save me time when I actually start to relax. Another step that is very, very, very important is to start relaxing the most stubborn area of your head first. For most persons, um, there is an area of hair that takes longer to relax. Or if someone else is doing your hair and that person does not know, um, you would find that after your relaxer is done, that there is an area that is under-processed. It is not as straight as everywhere else. So when I am relaxing my own hair, I always start in the center of my head because that is the area of hair that is the thickest and it takes the most time to relax. So by starting there, the relaxer would sit on that area of hair longer than it would everywhere else. And so that area would get the, the benefit of this extra time that it needs to process. Additionally, I alternate sides. Now, I don't see many persons doing this, but for me, it's a necessary step because I want to ensure that my application is overall even throughout my head. So if I start on the left side, I then move to the right side and then back and forth. So that way I am doing the entire section, the entire back of my head at the same time, but I am alternating sides. Then I would move to the front of my head and do the same thing. So if I started on the left side last time I relaxed, this time I would start on the right side and then I would move to the left and then back to the right. So that way I am relaxing both um, left and right sides of the front of my head at the same time. That to me is important because it helps with an overall even relaxer application. So remember I said that the middle of my head is where my hair is thickest. Um, conversely, the front of my hair is the thinnest area of hair. So um, that is the area that I would do last. So I normally start in the middle, do the two sides in the back, then move to the front. And after completing everything, then I would go back in to touch up my hairline. Washing the relaxer out thoroughly and treating your hair post-relaxer are important and necessary next steps. And these take a bit of time. So I will show you what I do in a subsequent video. So please stay tuned. Also, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thumbs up this video. Thank you for your support, guys. I will see you in the next one.